All right, so here are some objects. We're gonna do a scientific video. Now, it's not gonna be the best scientific video you ever seen. This is the Fisher F44, and I just got it. Now, I'm not an expert in metal detecting, but I saw some videos. Now, after I purchased it and was waiting for it to arrive, I saw quite a few videos of people testing it out, and then I was very, very upset because I saw in some of the tests, a quarter couldn't uh, be picked up as much as like six inches down. And then I was like, what did I just waste my money on? So I'm going to do a, a, a test on my own. Now, I didn't have a wooden ruler or a plastic ruler. So I drew one uh, to 10 inches on a piece of paper, lined up perfectly. And you hear that chirping because my cell phone is near it. Um, also, it's very chatty because it's in the all metal mode on full sensitivity, which is at 20. And the volume is at 10. So we're going to pick up the iron and uh, the other metals at about the same sound wave. Okay, so we're going to start with a beer cap, all right? And I'm going to make sure this is lined up. If you hear that little chattering, it's because um, there's a little interference. This is being done in the kitchen. And the closer my cell phone gets to it, it gets a little chatty. I'm going to pull my cell phone away and we're going to test it. So we're going to start at about... 11 inches and let me roll my sleeve up for this one hold on one second all right there we go all right so we're going to start at 10 inches we got a heineken beer tab or a beer cap and here we go it's lightly squeaking at 10. now we have nine eight seven now we got louder So it starts making a slight sound around nine, but you'd have to have earphones to hear that probably outside. And of course this was not ground balanced, which uh, would make it more sensitive because we don't have ground to balance it on. All right, we're going into a penny. This is um, after um, actually a 60s, it's a 60s penny. It's not an 82 or later. So I couldn't find an 82 or later. We're gonna start at 10. And it's very, very faint. Nine, it starts picking it up. Seven, it's getting louder. Six, it's getting louder. All right, we're going to go with a dime, and this is not... A silver dime. I'm going to start at 10. Let's go back to 10. I wasn't moving it enough. All right. So, I mean, it's a small object, you know, it was picking it up around here very lightly. All right, let's go to quarter. Now, people were saying it couldn't actually read a quarter six inches down, and that made me very upset um, when it was on its way after I bought it. It's picking it up after six. Faintly, though. Gets it faintly between nine and 10 inches. All right, next, a nickel. Let's line this up, okay. So about nine and 10 inches, it's low, but you can still hear it. All right, so now we have a 1940 Australian penny that I found in my yard. Now, all these objects I found in my yard, except for this 1890s tin box and this gold bracelet. Even the spoon I found 
And that's from the 40s, which is cool. All right, let's go. Okay, around 10, you start to hear something. Maybe a little more than 10. Now, it'll vary depending on what mode you have. So, you know, I have it in all metal right now. But um, it may be louder when you're in relics or jewelry or um, all coin. Um, also, if you do V-notch, um, this is just all metal. It's at uh, 12, uh, I'm sorry, 10 volume. It's at, uh, I'm, I'm thinking sensitivity all the way up at 20. All right, so we're going to go with a old 1830s coin. It's British. I think it's made out of copper. Not sure, but we'll find out now. So that's picking it up between eight and nine, but very faintly, but you can hear it. All right. All right. Next, we're going to go with a Victorian skirt weight. And I think this is made out of lead. And it has no trouble with this. I mean, you can hear it groaning. Next, the silver 925 ring that I actually found with my metal detector. All right, let's go. We're going at 10, 9. All right, now we're going to go with the Lord's Prayer that I found in the yard on copper. All right. Probably not much different than a penny, but. So it's getting it at around nine inches. You'll start to hear something. All right, now we got the 1890s tin box. And of course, this is probably going to pick up the best because it's so big. We're back about 12 inches. Let's go a little further back. It does good with relics. Does very good with larger relics. All right, now we got the spoon from the 40s that I found in my yard. It's a baby spoon. Let's go. When it goes further, you can hear it start to do something at about 12. All right, and last but not least, we got the gold, 14 karat gold bracelet. And let's check it out. We'll go further back. Wow. Picks up gold really well. I'm very surprised. Let's try just for the heck of it. I want to go into a different mode really fast and we'll check it out. So now I'm in the custom mode where I set tones for certain things. We're going to start with gold in no particular order. Gets gold really, really well. All right, we're going to go with the British coin. Seems more sensitive in that mode, in the in the custom mode, you're getting better depth, without a doubt. All right, we'll go with the Australian penny. Look at this. Okay, much deeper. 
So the people that did the videos and said it can't pick up a quarter at six inches are wrong. Look at this. We're going back 12 inches for the Australian copper penny. All right, really fast. We'll go with the dime. And now we're starting to hear it, whereas before in the other mode, we weren't. Definitely gets it at 10. Now I know I, not, I need to be in the uh, custom mode. I mean, the custom mode is uh, actually superior. Okay, we got a beer cap. Look at this. It's getting it at 10 inches. Let's try the quarter now. The quarter is the big test. Look at this. Okay? I mean, the people that said that this couldn't pick up a quarter at six inches depth did this machine a big disservice. Look at this. Okay, definitely a disservice. Here's a penny. Look at this. It's getting it way deeper. It's getting it at 10 now. Nickel. Look at this. Getting it almost uh, at 11. Okay, lead weight, Victorian era. Look at this. I'm all the way back here. <laughs> this is great. Let's try the silver ring. All right. Look at this. All the way back here. All right, so whoever did that video, I was uh, going to return this. Um, I was like, no way, this thing sucks. Okay, Lord's Prayer, copper. Look at this, further than 10 inches, at least 12 inches. Unbelievable, tin box, 1890s. We have our relic, I'm going all the way back here. And it could be in custom mode. I set a tone differently, but hold on. There we go. Look. Look at this. Tch. This thing is doing great. Spoon, stainless steel. Look at this. All the way back here. Okay. All right. So whoever's doing these videos, some of them, I'm no expert. I'm going to tell you right now, you can call me an idiot in the comments below. You can say I did something wrong. If I did, I'll own it. But okay. In the uh, custom mode where you uh, set the tones, um, this thing is superior, way better than the uh, other modes, like uh, all metal, um, even including the jewelry. Um, you get, you're going to get way deeper with the custom mode. And uh, yes, um, this machine is awesome.